I'm Dr. Gary Clayman of the Clayman Thyroid Cancer Center of Tampa, Florida. In this video, we're going to talk about how do you find an expert thyroid cancer surgeon. Yeah, thank you, uh, Dr. Clayman. Um, we, we just got done talking in a, in a different video about the different risks of, of thyroid surgery in general, and for my case, thyroid cancers specifically. And it, it was clear that the the incidents or how the complications or problems of thyroid cancer surgery are related to the how good the surgeon is. How do I find that surgeon? How, how do I know how to find a thyroid surgeon? What makes a good thyroid surgeon? So it's a great question and we want to sort of not, not separate it all out. Thyroid surgery should be performed by expert thyroid surgeons, whether it's cancer or not cancer. Uh, because the risks are the same. The risks are the same, identical, okay? But you want to find a real expert. It's a terrifying statistic that in the United States, 95% of thyroid surgery is performed by, by surgeons that do this less than one time a month. And I understand that you're, I mean, I'm obviously I'm talking to you because you're one of the foremost experts on thyroid surgery in the world. And a huge portion of your practice is taking care of people who've been operated on previously. Is that, is that do I understand that correctly? Yeah, it's, it's scary that half of my patients have had at least one previous thyroid surgery, and their thyroid cancer is still there, so, or it's come back. So they were operating on somebody who doesn't do the operation very often, and they did an incomplete thyroid cancer operation, left cancer behind, and a, a week later or years later, what, the can cancer comes back. Is that what happens? Yeah. Sometimes it's their first follow-up with their endocrinologist, and it's determined at that time. But sometimes it actually happens years later. But even the scarier part about that is sometimes they come in one or more or several of their parathyroid glands. The glands that control calcium have been removed. They may have a nerve to their voice box that has been cut. So if I, I'm going to go find, my doctor sent me to, you know, the, the, the ENT surgeon down, down the street, and I'm going, to go, I'm going to go see her next week, and I ask her what questions. How do I know? I mean, she's, they all look, all these guys look alike to me. How do I know that she is the right surgeon to be doing my thyroid operation? What do I ask her? You are the most important thing that you possess. So be diligent about it. You need to ask, be asking them questions, but you need to be asking other people questions. Ask a friend or a colleague who's a nurse in an operating room or a surgical tech in an operating room or other doctors who they refer to. Um, when you go see the doctor, ask them very, very pointed questions. How often do you treat thyroid cancer? How frequently do you do, you do this surgery? What other type of surgeries do you So do? I, I did that. So I saw a surgeon last week, and I asked him, that's why I'm going to see this other surgeon next week. That's okay to do. See more than one surgeon is okay? Sure. Because I, I, I didn't feel comfortable because I asked the first guy, how many of these, of these operations do you do? He, he won't look me in the eye. You he, get two estimates for your car when somebody rear-ends you, right? Yeah. Well, my insurance makes me do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but my first guy, I didn't. I, he wouldn't. He says, "Oh, I do thousands of these," and he's looking at he's looking at the floor, and he's. I don't quite believe him. That's why I'm looking at a second opinion. So it's okay to get a second opinion. Get a second opinion, and ask hard pointed questions. So experience is a very important thing. How many how many of these you do? How long you been doing it? Right. Exactly.